Hi, welcome to our next development already of uh, mid-December, the release for December. That's what we're working on. We're going to release the 19.11 a little bit sooner. You'll see the notice on the websites. You um, update your system. So I've done that with F12. Um, updated some, some nice um, teams and tweaks there. Well, I mean, fun scripts, I mean, there's a Star Wars thing and there's a fetch, uh, stuff like that. You can have a look at those. But the video is about the all the changes. You, we've made all these packages, these changes. We're on, at this point in time, we're on our open box XFCE i3 ISO, right? So what if you had this idea that you wanted to play with another Lego blocks? because um, we, we tell you that you can actually build it together and do everything. I see there's a typo in here. We should fix that one. That's gonna need another update. Let's do it in the meantime and pause the video. All right, that's done. Let's do an update, right? So you get a new package in. The new package is XFCE Git. So everything that's related to XFCE, the desktop, is going to be installed, it's going to be an etc scale, so you remember to do a scale. So this typo should be out, log out. Sometimes you'll wonder how these things get in there, but there we go. So I was saying that um, we want you to play around. Please do it in a virtual box, right? Make up your mind, say, okay, I have now XFC open box i3, what if and that's the fun. What if I use um, H, uh, BSPWM? Doesn't matter. So another desktop, let's play around, but start with the Arch Linux ISO. It will get ugly, but that's the point in learning. You become smarter and you tend to get to know your system. So what we do now, we have this arrangement, this, this convention in naming that anything that's called Arclinx config, if you just press enter, these are all our desktops that we'll have in the future. So this one we'll need to make, that one we'll need to make, and that one we'll need to make. And the rest, this one is to test. So basically we have now 15 desktops. We can say this one is just for um, the non-desktop stuff. So stuff that sets your icons and themes and things like that so you can you do not need them so i'm not going to install them but what we do need is we're going to install bspwm so anything like this um awesome it's really the convention is clear now uh, mate right so anything desktop related is the naming just the naming of the desktop and then you just press enter you see what you get that's just one here, done. It's not yet done, of course not, but it's it's fun, right? It's written into the scale. Don't forget to do the scale, otherwise it will never be used. So the ETC scale is great, it's fun, it's great for to, to build ISOs, you'll teach about it in Arch, uh, Arco Linux ISO.com there, in Carly, but remember to do the scale. Now it's not finished yet. What you should do is see how should I create, how should I install BSPWM? Now there are two ways. Either you say, let's have a look at the website. How should I install this thing? Okay, well, actually I should have pressed this button, installation of Arch Linux D BSPWM. It says you to go to this particular place. That's where all the code is. Now you say, let's have a look. How do I install BSPWM? There is of course the other way. That's always a good way. ArchWiki BSPWM. It's gonna tell you also the things you need to know. Install that package, okay? What's this thing going to do? Display manager and desktops is going to install this one, but also this one. So we give you always a little bit more information because we want, and in the end, 
a working uh, desktop with all its uh, grandeur or all its applications. So sudo pacman minus s. We have our, these are the Arch Linux configuration for PSP WM, but we do not have the application yet. So that's this one. We need to have that one as well. There's no ETC scale, right? This is not coming from us. This is Arch Linux. It also says to get the sexy hotkey daemon. That's how I like to call it. So SXHKD, right? Um, it's another name, it doesn't matter. Okay, so this is our um, keyboard shortcuts that we need. Without keyboard shortcuts in a tiling window manager, you're screwed. Okay, we need it. So this is this is what it says. If we, well, we don't need this one since we are on Arch Linux, right? We're on XFC Openbox i3. So Lightium is present. This is all present. The wallpapers are present. It's completely uh, themed and tweaked uh, ISO. So no need for those. But we do need those guys, and this is already set. So basically the only line we needed is 29 and every for every desktop environment you go and have a look. Let's show you one more I think. So open up. For every desktop, desktop environment it's in here. Right? Analyze. See what are the Lego blocks you like and need. Okay, let's have a look, see what we get. If something is wrong, we'll think about it again. Close tabs. So, open box XFC, and suddenly we have a new one, BSBWM. Why? Because we have it installed, right? Now we see here that there is no polybar. What did we forget? We forgot to install polybar. Ctrl Alt T is working. This is virtual box. If you don't like Compton Conf becoming, uh, so the Compton application becoming transparent in your virtual box. It will work on your SSD hard disk on real metal. It's always gonna be black on uh, VirtualBox. Then you can set it in the Compton Conf, but that's of course later on. What we need is a polybar. We have not installed that yet. There are two things to remember. sudo pacman minus s. Article Linux must have, some, have something, right? Yes, all the Article Linux packages. And in here somewhere should be PPPPP -p 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 polybar. Aha, uh -huh. Arch Linux has a configuration for the polybar. So you go get the polybar configuration. Go, that's that. Scale, so scale. Now, is the application polybar installed? No, it is not. I'm pressing tab here, nothing happens. So yay, polybar. Get your Lego blocks in. So this is the application, this is the configuration, right? It's different. And this is for Xmonad, I see. So we're not on Xmonad, we're on PSPWM. So we want number three, we want the application to run. Now this is gonna take a little bit in time, you'll see. It's one of the things that requires a little bit of building time. And here we see the message. I've shown you in other videos how to overcome this message, but let's include it again in this one. Let's do it via terminal this time. I have not shown you that. So sudo nano etc pacman d and nope, so where am I going? <laughs> Make package conf. And you have to change the package John Doe. It doesn't like to be called John Doe. So fill in your own name and it won't be bothering you with, again with that message, that warning. It's just a warning so you can keep it uh, as is, but you know, in the end it tends to work on the nerves. So this is how you fix it, all right? So next time you build something, it won't show the message anymore. And in the meantime, we've used our time well. So this is Polybar, it's installed. Super X, it's working. The keyboard shortcuts are working. Is SX HU Demon, right? Um, restart is too much, logout is good. 
and there's your polybar. So we have here PSP WM combined with um, the settings of well actually XFCE right because it uses the same home directory. The things that are in here are coming from the same um, well from from XFC packages. Now I was thinking there is if we do something like this I just want to test it out for me guys so what if if you do an Arch Linux config well first let's see what we have installed so if you can remove it right you know that you can then you know it's installed this is the one that's installed for the config that's the one now if you Control C. What happens? So what if in my head? What if I install another package that I want to play with, like for instance the config of BSPW? Right? What is he going to say? He's going to say the packages exist already. So Pacman is very clear about that. You can't have a package that's going to write the same file as the other one or the same folder. I mean, it's, it has to be unique, and that's what's going to happen if you do. So if you want to have the settings of PSPM in, and not the one of XFCE, you have to remove one and install the other one. Remove this one, Arch Linux config git, and get the Arch Linux config BSP git in. But at this point in time, that doesn't make sense, because it's more or less the same thing. Okay, so now how about this... this um, Virtual box being all black and all that. You can make it nicer, right? Yes, we can. In the config, we are at bspwm, which is this folder. You're gonna need this all the time, so you put this here. In here is the content conf. It's made very easy for you. Super F full screen. Yes. Quantum conf control find virtual find. This breaks transparency in VirtualBox. Put a hashtag before next line to fix that. Put a hashtag before next line to fix that. Save. Exit. Log out. Logging. F12 not working. Control T is working and it's transparent. You want to kill the conky, super uh, KC is better maybe, kill the conky, KC, conky is gone, of course next time we super shift R this thing, the conky is back, so there's a better way to edit these things and that's why this is here, auto start and you start changing and theming and tweaking your system, you don't want to see the conky again, next time we reboot. That's it, that's all you need to do. Keep the lines in and um, hashtag out anything you like. At some point in time you say, this is my setting, Control C, Control V. Why am I doing this? When you do a scale, this one is going to be overwritten. Uh, we can give a small example and then the video will end, right? So my setting is now, now okay. Compton Conf is done and all that. So a few settings have been changed. I do a scale, there's a new up update coming in. You do a scale and your reflex says, okay, I need to scale this thing. But then you've overwritten your settings. Super easy, use the power of melt, compare. And it means that it's so easily figured out what changed as well. So you follow along what is uh, improved, what changes, etc. And you see what's going on here. So the only thing you have to say, this is my setting. I do not want the conkey back in. So I'm moving the one from the copy, which is my setting, to the one in the, the one that's actually gonna work, right? And the Compton Conf, we've made also a decision and a change. So back in, I want to keep transparent. And that's it basically. Follow the scripts, use melt, and do a compare. And another interesting thing, is from time to time do a backup scale which allows you to see a well the content of etc scale with a date uh, and an hour so you know what changes between the 
ETC scalp from a month ago and today. You can just again do a comp uh, compare between two folders, right? You say, okay, what's the difference between the ETC scalp from a month ago and from today? And you analyze, you learn. All right, that's it. So that's that's one of the advantages we have now is an easy way to add another desktop to it. It's not going to be that easy, maybe on all cases. We're not going to make movies and videos about all of the desktops, but I think it gives you an insight um, how to approach things like I want to add a desktop to, right? Um, you'll see these, these errors coming up and say, okay, that's a package I don't need. Now everything we've done, written down, um, well, we've, we've typed, everything we've typed, we just put it in a script. So there are lots of, of scripts in here, for instance, just do a control C, control V. This is gonna be my Eric script, right? Whatever, BSP, add BSP or something like it. You put this one somewhere else, not in here, but on your desktop, maybe for a while, stuff like that. I seem to have lost my side pane. So desktops control V. So in here, better rename it like uh, install BSPWM or something like that. Should be, you need to remember after a while what you did, right? What this is, just by naming it. BSPWM, so forgot an M. And then you start editing. If it's not executable, make it executable. It's executable now. So the only thing you start typing is sudo pacman minus s s uh, s x h q d was there bspwm was there Arco Linux, etc. etc. You see the video and you type anything in there. And then next time you'll just run your own, run your own script. We're not gonna make scripts for that. I mean. It's still a learning thing. Um, if you want that, write a script. It's not that difficult. You see, it's, it's it was quite easy actually. Now, if you want to have this polybar, you need to type yay as polybar, right? That's that's from AOR, so it's not going to work with Pac-Man. It's going to work with yay. All right, me signing out. Have fun playing around with all the Lego blocks.